TMNC Pakistan finals saw the rivalry of I-8, Team Gwerti and Team Bablu play out in a spectacular fashion. But in the end, only one of them reigned supreme. And that was Team Bablu. After an arduous back and forth between the three teams, Team Bablu clinched the victory on the final day and came out on top. Oh my god! Oh! And he has been storming I-8. I-8 getting eliminated from this match, but oh. Bablu is still alive. I believe Team Bablu gonna win this match. This is their story. Initially on day one, Team Bablu ended up in third place with two chicken dinners. 420 is right, he's doing the first thing, but that's not ah. even going to get executed. Falls down to the play zone and Team Bablu, go ahead, with a chicken dinner in the first minute part. That was a great start. Team Kuwari had them beat in the first place with their aggressive playstyle. In spite of both the teams having the same number of chicken dinners, Team Kuwari had 51 kill points as opposed to the measly 34 of Team Bablu. This style of hyper-aggression from Kuwari was proving to be a difficult challenge for Team Bablu, but they still managed to get 53 placement points. It will be. But, uh, I mean, right now, I think uh, with the momentum that Team Bablu has, I'm definitely going to go for them. On day two, Team Kuwari continued to flex their dominance as they managed to stay on top of the overall leaderboards yet again, while Bablu still remained on the third position with no significant changes to their stats from day one. They continued to give us consistent high finishes on the leaderboard and even a chicken dinner on game 10 with 7 kills in the bag, cleaning up both eSports in a 4 versus 2 situation. Just those two players alive as Wolf gets that opening knock on a portal eSports and that's the last player knocked though, who is a bad man just waiting for his death as the players of Team Bablu go charging in and eventually end up getting a chicken dinner. And then they continue to place at high ranks for the rest of the day. We had a comeback on our hands. On day 3, Team Bablu really started to step up their games, winning another chicken dinner with all four members surviving on Erangel, making for a flawless performance sticking together and taking every fight together as a team rather than spreading out. Which shot them up from the third place to the first place on the overall leaderboard by the end of day 3. While on the other hand, I-8 was stuck in between strategies and they were still trying to figure out an optimal way to play the game. Even while they were unclear about their own identity, the aggressive playstyle from I-8 pushing them up to the second place of the overall leaderboard. As the final day rolled around, Team Pablo looked promising. It's the first game of the day and I-8 is in 4th place with 7 kills and we saw Crypto landing the MVP with a jaw-dropping performance. Fraggers are still surviving and Crypto has kept it away Definitely they are surviving right now. Oh it's going to be very difficult because Max Esports have a clear idea where they are. They While Team Bablu dropped the ball in the first game, netting only 4 kills and an 8th place finish, they were still in the lead on the overall leaderboard. But I-8 was catching up and QWERTY wasn't far behind either. The bad news for Bablu doesn't end here. In the second game, they only managed to fetch one kill and an abysmal 11th place finish. Meanwhile, Team Quarry took their opportunity to fire back, pushing themselves up to second place with a measly 7 point difference between the top two teams. The tournament was slipping from Bablu. It was now or never. Game 3 had both the teams going at it, with Quarty and Bablu ending at third and fourth place respectively. Now this was anyone's game to win, with only a 5 point difference between the two. Game 4 saw both rivals flunk as they were in the bottom of the table with neither of them making a significant run. Nothing had changed. But Game 5 was an absolute nail-biter as both the teams gave everything they had to prove who was worthy. Both I-8 and Bablu fought it out to be the last two teams standing in the final circle of Sandhawk and the winner of this fight would take it all. While I-8 did not have as many men standing as their opponents, they had the better position. I-8 was taking full advantage of the situation and raining nades at Bablu, causing some significant damage. But even after the barrage of explosives, Team Bablu stepped up their game, avoided the shrapnel and secured the chicken dinner with 7 kills. Unfortunately, their backs were still not off the ropes as I-8 led the charts with 12 kills, making both their points even at 225. I-8 was refusing to go down without a fight and tried to keep up until the very end. 
Unfortunately, despite the valiant efforts by I-8 Esports in Game 5, that would be the closest that they would ever come to tasting victory. An early exit with only one kill in the last game for Team I-8 meant that we had a clear winner on our hands. Bablu out survived them and snagged the championship away. A last-minute victory against their opponents gave them what they needed to win. With five chicken dinners under their belt, they were crowned as the champions of PMNC Pakistan.